morning, boys and girls. Let's sing some songs, okay? Uh, the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand up long, the bird of God. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand along on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. Okay, um, the next song we should sing is If You're Happy and You Know It, Clap Your Hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, and your face is surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stump your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stump your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and your face is surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stump your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, and your face is surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stump, stump. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Lesson two. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Frenita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Hannah's Gift to God. Today's memory verse is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 28. For his whole life he will be given to the Lord. The message for today's story is we serve God when we help God's leaders. Have you ever wondered about the people who help at church? Did you know that you can help too? Hannah and her husband Elkanah had been to the tabernacle at Shiloh to worship the Lord, and Hannah had prayed for a baby. Old priest Eli had asked God to give her what she'd prayed for, and back home at last Hannah watched the children chase each other playing games. Hannah smiled at the noisy, out-of-breath children. She smiled at their mothers, and she hugged a secret to herself. She was finally going to be a mother, too. And then one day, Hannah's baby boy was born. Ah! Hannah looked at her beautiful baby's dark, curly hair and his cute little ears, and she touched his soft skin and counted his tiny toes. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten tiny little toes. Hannah named her baby Samuel because that name means heard of God. She had asked God for a son, and he had heard her. The next year, when it was time to go to worship the Lord at Shiloh again, Elkanah went, but this time Hannah stayed home. I will wait until the baby can feed himself, she said to her husband. Then I will take him to the tabernacle, and he will stay there and serve the Lord. So when Samuel grew old enough to eat regular food, Hannah took him to the tabernacle just as she promised. Do you remember me, she asked Eli. I stood here and prayed to the Lord for a son. He gave me this beautiful boy, and now I am giving him back to the Lord. My boy will belong to the Lord all his life, and he will help you in many ways. Little Samuel looked up at priest Eli. He was not afraid to stay at the tabernacle with him. Even though he was still a small little boy, he could help God's leader, priest Eli. He would do all he could to help the old priest. Hannah missed her boy very much, but she knew she had done the right thing. All year, she looked forward to going to worship at the tabernacle. Every year, Hannah took a new coat to Samuel. And every year, priest Eli would bless Hannah and Elkanah. May the Lord give you more children, Eli said. And God did bless Hannah and her husband. In the years that followed, God gave them more than she had asked for. Three more sons and two daughters. They lived at home with their mother and father, but little Samuel lived at the tabernacle and helped priest Eli. 
Hannah missed little Samuel, but she kept her promise to God. She had given her son to the Lord to be priest Eli's helper. She would see him only once a year when the family went to Shiloh again. But that was all right, because she loved the Lord and was happy to have Samuel serve him. Samuel was so special, and Hannah always loved him. Hi boys and girls, today we'll be making a Hannah and her baby craft. This is what she looks like standing up and the other pictures look like what she looked like when sitting down. So these are the items that you'll need. Scissors, glue, markers, um, popsicle stick and color paper. So you want to go ahead and grab your popsicle stick and grab a marker to make the face. So I have brown, so I went ahead and I made her hair, I made uh, the eyes and I made her mouth. So as you can see, I'm just drawing the hair right now. And I'm just trying to make it as even as possible. Uh, but you guys can make her hair look however you like. It's really up to you. You can get as creative as you want. Um, I thought this craft was super, super cute and easy. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so I went ahead and finished her hair. So now I grabbed my black marker. And I'm just going to go ahead and do two little dots for her eyes and then make a smile a smile so after that I went ahead and I grabbed my pink marker but you guys can make her dress however color you like but I chose pink and I started drawing um, a little maybe an, an a half an inch down from where I drew her face and I just started coloring um, all the way down until I finished so I'm going to go ahead and keep coloring, and then I'll see you guys in a few. Oh, where I send thee, how oh, shall I send thee? I'm going to send thee ten by ten, ten for the ten commandments. Nine for the nine that dress so fine, eight for the eight that stood at the gate, seven for the seven that... Okay, so I'm back. I finished her dress, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part, okay? So as you can see, I've got her face, I've got her hair, and I've got her dress all colored and, and finished. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my colored paper and we'll start drawing everything that we need to make the baby. So we have our brown paper for the baby's face, we have our blue paper for the little um, carrier, and the red for her arms. So you wanna go ahead and move uh, Hannah to the side, grab your black marker again, and you're just gonna draw um, about a small face, not too small, because you want to be able to make a smiley face, okay? So go ahead and make your brown smiley face and then put that to the side. And then you're going to grab your blue paper or whatever color and you're going to make like an oval shape, almost like an egg maybe. And then you're going to want to decorate it however you like. I chose to put little X's on mine, but again, you guys can make um, your however you want to get as creative as you like. Okay, so now that that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and grab my red paper and I'm going to make her arms. So you're going to draw one, like a half inch line and then space them out and make another half inch line. And then go up kind of like you're making an A. So as you can see, I have my lines just like that going up, side, down, over. And then you're just going to make like a large, wide C and connect them just like that. Super, super simple. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut these out um, and we'll be right back. So fine, eight for the eight that stood at the gate, seven for the seven that never went to heaven, six for the six that never got fixed, five for the gospel. Okay, so now that we've got all of our pieces cut out, so we're gonna grab our glue stick and um, our three pieces. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the baby's face and we're gonna glue it on to the little, um, carrier or blanket or wrap whatever you want to call it now take the face and you're going to put it on the smaller end so there oh the glue almost fell sorry about that i'm going to take the face and you're going to glue it and there you have your baby in a blanket so now you're going to want to take the arms and you're going to turn it around to the back side and glue it right down the middle so just make sure it's nice and sticky because we're going to stick it to the popsicle stick and we don't want it to fall off so now you're going to take Hannah and you're going to start it kind of where you started coloring her dress and just stick it on there nice and firm. 
There we go. And now we're gonna grab the baby and we're gonna fold Hannah's arms a little bit. That way it looks like she's carrying the baby in her arms, okay? So now that we've done that, we're going to take the baby and put him in between, wrap her in between her arms. That way we can kind of see where the glue is gonna go. And we're gonna glue it down just like that. See, okay, now we have one side done. And so I know it's a little tricky because the baby is bigger uh, than the popsicle stick, but that's okay. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and glue both arms, make it look like she's wrapping around the baby. Um, and then we're just gonna press down a bit, um, make sure it's not covering her face like I just did. <laughs> um, but kind of move it to the side a little bit, that way you can see the baby's face and Hannah's face. And there you have it, you have Hannah and her baby. Now, as you can see in my first example, I have a clothespin on him. So if you wanna have, if you have a clothespin, you can definitely, um, take it and kind of put it right in towards the end where the clasp is and put it right in there that way it's not showing so it can stand up and you can have hannah stand up with her baby now another thing that you could also do is have like a little magnet on the back and you can make it a nice refrigerator craft but i hope you guys liked it have a great day bye baby, baby, boy, boy.